you're burying the lead. Ryan Dempster, you just finished the Boston Marathon. Let's give it up. Thank you. Um, I mean, I, I got to tell you, yeah, you, you want to talk about um, spiritual. Um, you don't, as an amateur runner, you don't run this marathon without the city of Boston. Everywhere you go, every street you walk, you're running down, there are people on their lawns, there are people out front, they are cheering you on, they're handing you things, water, popsicles, oranges, you name it, they are in your corner and it, you can't help but, you can't help but finish. They push you across the finish line and it was absolutely just an unbelievable day. I enjoyed the rain because when you're sweating like that, it's nice to cool off. Um, it was my first marathon. It will be my last marathon. Um, and, I, and it was it's just, yeah, so much. Heartbreak Hill. I'm running up Heartbreak Hill. That's four miles of hills. That's the last one. The ladies, everybody's excited there. I, I, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know what to expect. I'd heard a lot of things, and it, it exceeded all expectations. It was incredible. I want to ask you one question, Ryan. I mean, what, 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 it, it makes me cringe. Because I wasn't a big runner. You know, when we got in trouble, you had to run four laps around the baseball field. It was like miserable. You pouting and so when you when when you, when you prepare yourself for something like this, right? You can sit here and run all you want on treadmills and kind of go a mile here and five and eight. But what when was the toughest part of this marathon mentally? Like when you start, you're you're happy. What mile point are you like? I don't know if I can make this, and that's where I gotta dig deep. Yeah, you know, like it's interesting, right? Because they tell you start slow. Everything's kind of downhill at the beginning, so start slow. So I, I mentally told myself, don't go fast, and that's hard. Because Kevin, you know me, I don't, I don't like it when people pass me on the road, let alone when I'm running. So <laughs> yeah, I had no. to let all these people just <laughs> do their story. thing, and I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and and so I had to let everybody just kind of pass me by, and just started really slow, and then I started going, and things were going really well, like pace wise, I was cooking, and then all of a sudden, like mile 13, I feel a little tightness mile 50 between 15 and 16 i feel like my right hammy just cramp like i gotta stop i can't run i'm doing stretches i'm putting my foot on the rail i'm stopping every two seconds to stretch and it really slowed me down um then you eat you know you eat bananas you get some electrolytes in you and then i'm good to go um and then that last bit when you come kind of up on the top i said heartbreak hill it's four miles of hills these rolling hills and that's not easy this is mile 17 to mile 21 and then you get to 21 and now here you go. You're at Boston call. All the all the students are out there. They've had a good day. They're they're having a fun day. They're they're <laughs> celebrating way before I got there. Let me tell you that. But they were awesome and they carried you through it. And then, you know, I'm going to tell you this. I was hurting and I came around to get onto Boylston Street, you know, and you get to, you see the finish line. And you know that street, Kevin, and how popular that it is packed. And it was like somebody, I felt like that scene in Pulp Fiction where Uma Thurman, you know, she gets jabbed in the chest with the shot of adrenaline. <laughs> All of a sudden, yes. I went from like can't run to just almost like, you know, in my mind, I was full sprint, but nothing hurt. And it was just like magical, completely spiritual, magical. It was amazing. So awesome. Okay, Damp, you got there, what, five minutes before the show started? Our ballpark cam <laughs> captured oh, you boy. gingerly walking over to the dugout. <laughs> You're, you look to be hobbling just a tiny bit. I, I want to know, compared to any <laughs> baseball game you've ever played, any sport, period, how does this compare pain-wise as That's to what safe. you're feeling right now? I was just texting the trainer, by the way, that I needed like an ice bath ready for me when the show's over. Um, the, the most. Like, it hurt less when I blew my elbow out. Like this, that, that was, I am in so much pain right now. The, my, my lower half, I told you this before, feels like I got hit at a crosswalk by a Mini Cooper. Like just the waist down, a car ran me over. It, like, Kev, look at me try and go down the stairs. I can't, can't do it. It's like. He can't. Oh. Oh. We are so proud of you, Demp. Uh, on a serious Thank note you. though, what was it like being there for the 10 year anniversary? Yeah, I mean. You know what's really cool, and 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 one five, you can relate to this. When you do something like that, especially in a town like this, um, we didn't see each other. A lot of us, some of us have seen each other, some of us haven't. 
and and it was like we were just like we just gone on a road trip and we came back to Boston to play some games. We were all instantly connected, dinners, laughing, stories, jokes. Nothing changed, not one single thing. And you know this this amazing day that the Red Sox gave us at the field. It's an elevator ride. Champs ride the elevator all the way to the top. That's where they go. And you see there's Stephen Drew on the left, in case you're wondering who the guy with the big beard is. I didn't recognize him. <laughs> Gave me a hug, and I'm like, who are you? <laughs> and there's Jake Peavy, Johnny Gomes, John Lester, and John Lester. I mean, just it was just uh, it was really great to, to be around all those guys. And, and, um, and in this city, this is, I love this town. These people are amazing.